Today we are going to discuss about 4G architecture. Now 4G architecture consists of a parts like the very first which is a RAN part. So we name it as EUT RAN which is Evolved Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network. And then EUT RAN part is required to connect to the core network. So the core network of the 4G which is EPC and EPC has evolved packet code. As we have a user equipment over at this end, so this user equipment, this user equipment is any device which can attach to the network. Now this user equipment can attach to the EUT RAN part through ear interface which is also known as UU or UM interface. With the help of this interface, it is connected to the EUT RAN part. Now, here in EUT RAN part, we have two entities and we name it as E node B. Where E node B has evolved node B. So, for example, in EUT RAN part, we have two E node Bs. Now, in 4G, there is no separate controller for E node Bs. Like in 3G, for node Bs, we have a separate controller RNC. Like in 2G, for BTS controller, we have BSC. But in 4G, we have eliminated a separate controller from the EUT RAN part. Now we have only E node B. That means if we don't have a separate controller for the E node B, so there should be proper interface between the two E node Bs. Now the interface defined between the two E node Bs as X2 interface. So X2 is the interface which connects two E node Bs together. So here in the EUT RAN part, we have entities and E node B entities. Now let's move to the next, which is a core network. Now core network as an entity as MME. Then we have HSS, SGW, PGW. This is connected to external network, which is PDA. Now, MME as mobility management equipment. HSS is home subscriber server. SGW as serving gateway and PGW as PDN gateway. Now, if we talk about the interface between the EUT RAN part and the Evolve packet core, so combine this interface is known as S1 interface. Now, as per this architecture, this is divided into two entities, like two parts. We have C plane, which is also known as control plane or a signaling plane. And this plane is known as U plane, which is a user plane. That means C plane has to deal with the signaling and the controlling, whereas U plane has to deal with the data. So that means this E node B requires connectivity with MME also and requires connectivity with serving gateway 2 because this is the interface for signaling and this is the interface for data because we require to connect to the two major parts. Now the interface when E node we communicate with the MME so we name it as S1C for control plane and the interface with E node V with the serving gateway for data so this one is S1U which is a user plane. So these are the interfaces defined. Like this is commonly as S1, now we have S1C and S1U. Now let's talk about the entities in the core network. So MME has a mobility management equipment. So this entity has to deal with the mobility of the user as well as the authentication. That means it is one entity which is performing function of VLR as, as well as it is performing as authentication center. Home subscriber server is a permanent database which stores each and every information related to user which is like which is a permanent in nature. Serving gateway will function similar to SGSN in 3G like forwarding of packets or I can say switching of packets and processing of packets whereas PGW which is PDN gateway 
it is a gateway with the external network through which we require to fetch the packet. So this is the architecture of a 4G which has to deal with the data and high speed. Now this evolution of a new architecture, this architecture which is new as compared to the previous generation, so we name it as SAE, where SAE stands for System Architecture Evolution. Because we have an evolution of new architecture and this architecture which supports high data rate, a system architecture which is there in the 4G. Remember that 4G has an aim of 1 gigabit per second for stationary users and 100 Mbps for high mobility users. So that means we have a major focus on the data rate. So that's why 4G which is defined, defined here is mainly for the high data rate speed. So this is about 4G architecture that we had discussed. Thank you so much.